Welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to our Sky Factory 2.5 modded Minecraft Let's Play series. So if you recall last episode, we were working um, on killing the Wither. We got him killed and um, used that Nether Star to really make leaps and bounds as far as our um, magical crops go. So since then, I have taught our system how to make... Um, the different essences. I've also taught you how to make reactor pieces um, because over here and I did notice that whenever I my reactor this one actually got unplugged earlier and when it was unplugged um, the lag did kind of cease so I think it has something to do with that one um, not as much the one on the bottom so after this episode, I used up pretty much all of our resources building this one um, because this is the updated layout. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, I used pretty much all of our resources setting up this one. So, or not all of our resources, but all my time setting up this one. So, um, I'm going to try to get this one changed over between this episode and next. So, hopefully after that I didn't notice much of a difference when I plugged this one up but when I had this one turned off the lag did seem to stop so um, I'm thinking it has to do with that maybe I don't know if it has to do with all the ender pouring out of the, like on the sides or what it is but um, and plus the jelly cryothium is right next to the ender I don't know if that has anything to do with it because this one doesn't have any jelly cryothium right on the um, um, resonant ender so maybe that's it I don't know but um, if you notice this is filling up it fills up pretty fast actually um, <clears throat> now you will notice it's kinda of staying around not totally full but uh, it's there's only so much that I can pump out of this thing so what I might do I have some readjusting to do with the pipes because it's just not there's not enough output with those pipes uh, with the ender pipes so um, I'm probably gonna set them up each hooking into different sides of the tesseract then the tesseracts coming out with two lines or something but um, I'll figure it out between this episode and next I spent most of the time doing that and um, setting up recipes and farming the wither so um, if you notice in here we have nether nether there we go seven nether stars now and we actually, I believe, have four wither seeds set up in the farm now. So, you know, that that definitely helps um, making the essence. So we've got three wither, <laughs> three wither essence right now. So, but I did just use some. So, um, <clears throat> so the first thing I did find out, um, and give me one okay. second. Um, sorry about that. I had a knock at the door. Um, I did find out thanks to Hunter commenting on um, on the last video that we don't actually have to kill the Guardian of Gaia and make the end portal to go to the end. So we're going to be going to the end today and killing a dragon. <laughs> um, but first, before we do that, I do want to dive just slightly into Draconic Evolution. We're going to get ourselves a bow because facing the Ender Dragon without um, a good ranged weapon is kind of a pain. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and pull up Draconic. And we're going to teach... Our, oh, wrong terminal there. Uh, we're going to teach our system just really, really quickly how to make a couple pieces from Draconic Evolution. So, um, if we wanted to make this bow, we would need this Wyvern Core, um, which does take these Draconic Cores. So let's go ahead and teach it to make those. And that's what the draconic, okay. Then we're gonna teach it to make this wyvern core. And oh yeah, I need to put this in here. Uh, no, this one. Okay. Wrong core. Okay. So we've got that now. And 
then we're also going to want to teach it the redstone core down here, the energy core. Um, so it is going to need blocks of redstone. Okay. I bet our system doesn't know how to make the blocks just yet. So we'll teach it. And then we'll teach it how to make the energy core. So now I'd say we're pretty well set. Um, to get our draconic gear set up and my goal is to kill the ender dragon this episode and then at the end of the episode we'll do the draconic ritual to um, get our first awakened draconium so all right so let's go ahead we want the bow so we're gonna want one of those and Then we're going to want one of each of these cores. And draconic. No, not draconic. Shoot. We want a wyvern core. And there we go. Our bow of the wyvern. <clears throat> now I'm not going to worry about enchanting this right this second. Um, Oh, it doesn't work with the wireless charger. Nope. All right. Um, the only enchant that I really want to make sure we get before we go in there is infinity. Um, because nobody likes to use arrows. So we'll let this... Uh, Why is it not charging? Huh. That's strange. Yeah, insufficient power to fire, but it doesn't want to charge. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to get this figured out. And sorry this room is so laggy. But uh, I'll be back in okay, just a minute. Okay, welcome back. Um, we're going to try to make I just want it down here. Okay. We're going to try to make this energy infuser and maybe that'll do it. So we'll need this particle generator. Um, let me go ahead and make just a bit of these draconic cores. Go ahead and just make ten of them because <clears throat> we're going to need them anyway. And uh, redstone. Let's go ahead and just get like ten blocks of that. Okay. So now maybe We can get this. Oh, I need a enchant table. Oh my god, we don't have a book really. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to set up automatic sugar cane fairly soon. Probably use annihilation planes for it because uh I tend to like those quite a bit. Okay. Now. Oh, yeah, we didn't make the book. Oh my god, this is like the most pain in the ass enchantment table ever. Okay. Like when you get used to just having everything in there, it kind of makes it a pain when you don't have the things in there that you need. Okay. So we got our energy infuser. And now, let's just plug this in just right here for now. I don't care. And we'll throw this in. Okay. And it's still not charging. Okay. Well. Let 
have no clue. Let me open up the GUI for it, actually. Maybe... Okay. So this, insufficient power. Yeah. I wonder why... That's not going to do anything, is it? Huh. I have no clue at all why this thing won't charge. Okay, well give me a second. I'll be back in just a minute. We'll figure something okay, else out. Okay, welcome back. Um, I think I'm just going to make the needle gun from um, Mine Factory Reloaded. And we'll just take that in there. <laughs> Since um, it refuses to charge that, uh, that bow. So we'll use this and we'll get some needle gun magazines. And what do we want to go with? I guess just needles is fine. Okay. That'll be good. Um, nope. Nope. Okay. There we go. So maybe that'll be fine. Um, <clears throat> if not, I mean, we've got good armor and everything, so we should be alright, I should think. Okay, and then what we're going to need to go there is a cake. So this end cake right here, uh, we'll make a golden apple really, really quick. And, oh, cake. Okay, let me get some buckets of milk. Oh, I don't have a vanilla cow. I never found a vanilla cow. Or once I started collecting them. Oh, this is going to be a pain. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to spend some time building out grass areas and try to get some milk, I guess. I don't think there's any other way about that. Well, apparently loot bag loot can have oh loot bag loot can have cakes well let's go to our lag fortress over here and we'll check and see if we have any cakes in there because if we had a couple cakes that'd be great that'd be wonderful okay oh we do we have plenty of cakes okay scratch that whole issue there and I will, though, have to uh, build that out, build out some grass areas, and see if we can find some cows. Or we'll actually probably just go to um, an RF dimension before long, so we'll do it that way. That sounds like more fun to me, because I don't like building that stuff out. Um, no, I don't want that cake. I want this cake. There we go. And now we are all set to head out. So we'll just put this down just right here and okay I believe we have to use ender pearls on it don't we that's right There we go. Yeah. Okay. And now if we click it, we'll eat a piece of it and we will go to the end. Wow, it looks so strange. 
Oops. Now, I don't believe this one has the Hardcore Ender expansion in it. Oh, well, there's like all kinds of people down there. Is taking all sorts of damage. Okay. I'll just pick up. Oh, and they turn into spawners, actually. Looks like Enderman spawners. Or no, that's bedrock. Never mind. Okay. Come on, buddy. Honestly, our, uh, armor's good enough that we probably could have um, just came in here with um, just this needle, I mean, uh, with just a sword and been fine, I think, but this needle gun does make it uh, quite a bit easier. Alright. I just want your heart. That's what I want. doesn't have hardcore under expansion so I don't figure we have to worry too much about um, you know with hardcore under expansion of course you got all kinds of drops that come from that but um, this we don't have to worry about it oh you know what I didn't bring any like cobblestone with me or anything um, I'm gonna wait till this heart comes down and then I might maybe grab some of that or something and use that to get the egg. <clears throat> oh, come on. There we go. And let's get just a little bit of this. I'll cut camera. I'm going to vein mine it, but it'll, it'll take a second. So I'll be right okay, back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I ended up just going on top of it. That was a lot quicker. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Um, so we'll go ahead and just build this out just slightly. Oh, what is that out there? Okay, I have to know what that is. That could be maybe a Draconic Evolution Meteor. It seems a little bit close for it to be one of those, though. What the hell? Oh! Now that's going to become another Ender Dragon. Oh, okay. Well, we'll leave that be then. Uh, we'll fly out over here and see what that purple glow stuff was. If it was anything special. So I guess we're not going to have to do the resurrection ritual um, because we can just spawn new Ender Dragons. It takes a little while, but... Um, okay, maybe that was just clouds or something. Yeah, so let's head on back, and we'll head back home. And of course now I'm lost. Okay, this way. I was trying to follow the map, so. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and mark this area. Alright, and I wonder if we'll lose all of our XP when we go through this. Nope. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we did. I hate that. <laughs> Alright, so we got our first dragon heart. And fairly easy, might I say. Um, so let's go ahead and...
do the ritual to change this thing over. Now one thing I did forget to mention is we could make this draconic tablet. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, it kind of just explains all the... Oh. You know what, I think I can turn this stuff back. So we'll do that. And the pulverizer, I'm sure sag mill works just as well. No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, I have pulverizers over here at the lag fortress, so we'll go over here. You notice I removed all those water stone blocks because I thought, well, maybe it could be these, and it wasn't. That wasn't the source of our lag. So, okay. Bah. Oh my god. So sorry. <laughs> so, so sorry. That's why I try not to go over there right now. I'm still, I know it's over there. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it has to do with that first reactor that we built. Somewhere, something with that is wrong. So, I'll be working on that tonight. Um, so, we'll get this tablet. And if you notice, we can uh, go here to our index. We can look at all this stuff. Um, basically, what we're going to be doing is down here the awakened draconium um, oh wait I think it's actually under the dragon heart yeah and um, <clears throat> so let's see we're gonna need 16 cores and four blocks of draconium I know it used to you could hit like the middle mouse button and get it to craft even if you had stuff in there but that's not working I don't know if they changed it. I just haven't figured out the um, the like button that you use now for that. But um, I don't know. And can we make some tiny TNT? And then a uh, redstone torch. There we go. Okay. And we're just going to get these blocks charged. And it won't take but a second, I don't think. So, but I'll be back in just a second once these are charged up. Okay, welcome back. I just went ahead and threw down some obsidian. I know the tiny, tiny TNT is not going to um, actually blow up the ground, but I like having like a little area to do this on. And before we do this, let's go ahead and take off our ring of magnetization. And I'm going to kind of hover above it, actually. Um, let's see. Let's do... This, and then we're just going to throw this on the ground, put our tiny TNT down, set it off, and then we're going to throw our draconic cores in there. That didn't work, did it? No. Okay, maybe we have to use actual TNT. I know a lot of servers that I'd played on had made it so tiny TNT would work, but I guess... It doesn't just naturally work in this pack. So, we'll just get some full blown TNT then. That's fine. And I probably need to put these on my hot bar as well. Okay, let's try this again. So we'll throw this on the ground. And then we're going to throw our draconic cores down there. And we'll give it just a second. 
and you'll notice it'll start pulling in those draconic cores and now that it did that we need to throw down our blocks and you can do up to four per heart um, and you do four cores, draconic cores per heart but you know you only get to use the heart once so you might as well just do four whenever you go to do it so there we go now we have our awakened draconium blocks so we'll just vein mine that stuff up and there we go we have 36 awakened draconium and of course we can use this to make some really powerful stuff um, I'm gonna try just really really quickly to upgrade that bow that we made um, any other draconic stuff I'll just make it off camera but I do want to upgrade this bow and maybe it'll charge then is my hope so oh you know what I don't have enough nether stars to do this up at oh I've got six I think it takes like five so we, we should be alright draconic and let's go ahead and teach it how to make awakened cores and it's gonna need wyvern cores for that and then we'll also want to teach it how to make um, the draconic energy cores so we're going to need some energy cores go and ta-da so we'll throw these in there and now our system knows how to make pretty much all the most important draconic evolution stuff so <clears throat> oops all right so we want the draconic bow and we are going to need that a draconic energy core okay and then we're also going to need one of these awakened cores oh shoot we're short on draconium okay well we will make that next episode so um, I'm going to let that run for a bit, try to get us some more draconium built up, and I think we need to start, where the hell did you come from? I'm not seeing anything, I have no clue, um, I don't believe, other than the saving stuff, I don't believe there's any other way to get draconium dust. Yeah, just X Hilo. No, I don't think so. Yeah, really we should be maybe processing it with the rich slag. I might do something for that. But, um... Oh, you know what? Loot bags. Let's go see if we can get uh, enough draconium real quick. And sorry, I know this episode's probably running just a little bit long. And sorry about the lag fortress here. Hopefully, hopefully. I know I've been... We've been messing with this lag situation for a few episodes, but I'm hoping by next episode <clears throat> that maybe that'll be gone. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Because um, maybe it, ha it has something to do with that reactor. The reactor's not really something I messed with, um, you know, too much in the past. Okay, maybe we don't have any draconium in here. No. Okay. Well, that sucks. Um, but the reactor is not something I really mess with, like... Um, disassembling it or anything, because... You know, that's our power source, like, for our entire network. And if I start messing with it, everything shuts down. 
So now that I've got that second one built, I don't mind messing with it so, so much. So I'll um, rebuild that first one and maybe that'll fix it. So but let's go ahead and break our chance cube. Seems you have purchased the saplings DLC. Well, I lost most of them, I think. Not anything that we really need, though, honestly. But um, <clears throat> I do believe I'm going to end the episode out there. Hopefully next episode we'll get our first piece of Draconic gear. And I do think we're going to have to really upgrade that system for um, the endstone uh, production, like the sieving and everything, because we're just not getting enough Draconic stuff, uh, Draconic dust and everything to really do a whole lot with that right now and I want to get into the power storage and things like that um, it has a lot of really really nice machines and everything um, but next episode one of the first things I do know that we're gonna do is we are going to set up the draconic evolution mob grinder so I hope you guys are excited for that it's a lot of fun and we'll never have to manually kill the wither ever again so I um, <clears throat> hope you guys are looking forward to that as always, if you enjoyed the episode, please comment, like, subscribe. Very, very much appreciated. And I do uh, really, really appreciate all the support uh, you guys have been giving and everything. So I just want to say thank you. And um, until next episode, do take care, and I hope to see you then.